Hello and welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikishan. Today we are going to learn how you can integrate OpenAI to your Path Studio web and how you can create a very simple automation uh, using OpenAI integration along with your Path Studio by giving a auto response to the email that is coming to your mailbox. Okay, so here uh, we are going to consider a hotel as an example. So maybe uh, the customers may be providing a feedback to uh, the customer uh, to the hotel stay right so we are going to give an auto reply by uh, reading the body of that email so the open ai uh, models can understand the sentiment behind uh, the customer's email and it can create a proper uh, response to those emails okay so we are going to give a demo uh, also based on that integration so let us understand how we can make an open ai integration with our uh, ui web studio right so um, in my one of my earlier video i did an automation uh, with a, with our ui path uh, studio uh, by integrating the open ai uh, uh, api right so now i am going to show you how you can do that with uh, uh, your uh, ui path studio there. For that, uh, what we have to do first, you have to make a connection, right? So, in my machine, I already made the connection here. You can see an OpenAI uh, connection is already established. So, if there is no connection, what you have to do is just go to integration service, okay? So, here you need to make a connection to OpenAI or uh, service, okay? So, here you can see my folder is demo, you can sell the folder okay just to search for just search for open ai okay here you'll be able to find the open ai connector which is already pre-built so you can click on that okay click on uh, add connection okay so if you click on add connection it will ask for api key so from where you can get this api key okay we have to go to this link open ai i have to sign in okay let's go with api okay so if you go to api just go to uh personal and here just click on view api keys so this key you have to add in this authentication you need to click on connect okay so that is a process of making the connection so once it is done you will be able to find the uh open ai connector in the connections in uh, your path studio web okay here you will be able to see open ai connection okay so let's start with the automation let me go to project create a new project open ai chatbot okay let me name it like this chatbot okay description this is a demo project for the integration between UI path studio web and open AI. okay so the trigger i'm going to start uh, manually okay click on create okay so what would be the first step you need to read the email right so just consider customer is sending an email uh, to your mailbox okay. so you have to read that unread email and uh, then you have to pass that email body to uh, the nlp model in openai and it need to understand that email and it need to provide output right and that output it has to uh, send via gmail right so that is our automation process. so for the first task we need to make a connection to our uh gmail right so let me search for gmail so there is already a connection in my uh, system so if you haven't made it, any connection you need to make the connection in my last video i already showed how to make a gmail integration so let me click on get newest email okay so it is waiting for connection so here i need to select my uh, gmail account and which is a folder the folder should be inbox click on save and here i'm not going to add any new filters 
unread only should be false and uh, unread only yes i'm going to read only unread emails okay with attachment and all these things i'm going to keep it as false and uh, i'm not going to add any more filters and here is how if you want to create a new custom uh, variable means you can just create and you can assign it okay so the uh, output will be coming in retrieved email okay now what i'm going to do is let me add a log message just to print the message okay print the body so retrieved email and uh, what is the body this is the body okay so let me print it over here right and the log level i'm keeping it like a info then what is the next step you need to pass this email body to the open ai uh, activity right so let me click on this search for open ai okay here you can see there are uh, uh, four activity that are available uh, related to open ai so the two things are related to microsoft azure open ai and here we can see uh, the normal open ai uh, activities so we need to make a response to the email that is coming right so i'm going with the generate chat completion so uh, what's the purpose of this it gives given a user prompt an optional instruction and other uh, optional inputs such as the model id etc generate a chat completion response okay so it will auto generate a response <coughs> and that response we can share via email so i'm going to use this activity okay and here you can see it has automatically selected the connection <laughs> so if you haven't made any connection you will have to create a new connection for the open ai and what is a prompt so prompt should be okay so the prompt should be get newest email then it should be the body right it should be the body it has to read this body and then you have to select the model so uh, gpt4 is a newest model and i'm going to go with the gpt 3.5 turbo because gpt4 will not support you and uh, if you want to add any instructions you can add over here and maximum token is 1920 and uh, these are number of at least one like how many completion choices it has to generate if you are keeping two means it will give two options and from there you can choose the best one okay so there are uh, different features uh, you can go through that and uh, you can enable based on uh, your requirement i'm not deep dive into more into all these uh, uh, features okay and here output it will auto generate one is a uh, response this is generate chat completion object return and one is the top generated test okay so here this test you can use for uh, generating the auto response okay so once you get the email you are passing it as a input and here you'll be getting the output right? so what i'm going to do let me create a new log message okay here i'm going to add generate chat response generated test okay i'm just going to print it then log level i'm going to choose like a info click on this button then we need to send an email right click on send email and uh, gmail i'm choosing like my phone access so here we need to provide the two variables right? so from where we can get the variable so uh, we we are going to send or replay back the email to the front person right so let me click on this use variable we have to go here retrieve the email and from whom uh the first email has triggered to that person we want to replay back right so i'm going to select from okay then subject again i'm going to choose the same subject of the received email so subject okay and the body so from where we can get the body from the chat uh, open AI, right so top generated test that's it okay and i'm not going to save it as a draft i need to send it as an email so that's it let's try it out okay okay so there is an error here what is the error separated by coma okay ok 
clear value separated by comma. So let me put it okay. This Okay, so that's it. Now let's try to execute this. Okay, so here you can see the output that is generating, so it is running the uh, automation. Okay, there is child. Now it has completed this trigger, then it has uh, captured the new email. What is the error here? Okay, because uh, we didn't <coughs> create a new email, right? So let me do one thing. Let me go to compose and it will provide my email id and i already composed a sample email so wonderful stay attached let me give this as a subject and let me give this as the body okay so this is nothing but like uh, i put the uh, subject as wonderful stay attached and feedback and opposition so this is a positive feedback okay dear tar team i hope this email finds you well i recently had the pressure of seeing at your hotel and i wanted to Take a moment to express my sincere appreciation for the exceptional experience I had during my stay. I believe it is important to provide feedback when a service exceeds the situation and I am delighted to share my positive feedback with you. So this is a uh, positive response. right? So I am going to send this email. Okay, So it has to read this email and it has to reply back. Right? So let me go back. Uh, let me go back and re-execute. Stop this. Okay, let me re-execute this. Okay, so this is now getting the newest email. Here you can see the email body. Okay, now this email body will be passed to this generate chat completion activity and it will generate the output using the model that we have selected. Okay. Okay, and here you can see this is the response okay that has generated and it should have sent via email so let me go to my email let me refresh this okay here you can see a new response has been received so what is this dear rahul so how it has selected from my email body it has automatically selected this name and here you can see dear rahul thank you for reaching out of uh, to us and for choosing to stay at our hotel we are delighted to receive your email and hear that you had an exceptional experience during your stay with us. Okay, so it means it automatically generated a response and it has replayed back to the uh, customer. Right, so uh, this is totally based on the positive feedback or email that was sent by the customer. And uh, OpenAI model has read that uh, email and understood it's a positive feedback and provided a uh, good response to the customer. Okay. So this is how you can make a automation uh, using uh, your Pack Studio by integrating uh, OpenAI. So let me do one thing. Uh, let me create a new email by providing a bad bad review. Okay. So so let me click like this stay at touch feedback and appreciation i hope this email finds you well i recently had a fancy one um i recently okay let me put this as um, test cheating okay i'm just <laughs> replacing this as test okay test hotel okay test hotel Test hotel. I'm going to take my go. Express my express my my feedback. The stay was not good and 
put our thread was to worst. Also, the bed was not clean and toilet was not clean. Okay, so, this is one of the sample email. I am going to write a new email and let's see how OpenAI is going to respond. Read a new email, such a sorry, body feedback. Okay, so this is the subject, and I'm going to select myself. Select me Krishna. Okay, now it is done. Let me re-execute. Okay, so now it is re-executing the automation. Let's see how OpenAI is going to give a proper response to the negative feedback. Okay, here you can see the email is already uh, read and uh, the body is shared to generate that completion activity. So it is generating the response using OpenAI uh, model. And once it is done, it will generate the email. Okay. So let it uh, complete. Yeah, now I have received the uh, uh, email response email. So let me refresh. Okay, I have received the response. Sorry. Thank you for taking time to provide feedback about your recent day. We are sorry to hear that your experience did not meet your expectation. Okay, so it auto identify the response was a negative response and it auto generate a uh, apology uh, response. Right, we strive to provide a comfortable and clean environment for all our guests and we apologize for failing short in the instance. Okay, like this way, auto uh, open AI will uh, understand the sentiments as well as using the NLP model. It will auto generate a proper response to your email. Okay, I hope you uh, got a clear understanding about how you can easily integrate OpenAI character with your um, uh, path Studio web for creating a very useful uh, automations like this. Okay, like this way you can create a uh, chatbot as well uh, by getting this response and again sending back uh, as a um, input, right? So I hope you find this video useful. If you like this video, please like the video, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.